all right what's up guys welcome back to my channel just want to say a thank you and a welcome to any new subscribers and my old subscribers you guys are the whole reason i've been doing this and i really appreciate the likes and comments lately it really does mean so much to me because you guys do understand that by doing those things you are helping the algorithm and you are allowing these videos to get more seen out there because the goal of this channel is to grow big yields in a small space and uh, i'm hoping we can do that there were some limiting factors being the winter time it wasn't as warm as i would like it to be i've also never grown in one gallon pots before never grown this many plants let alone phenotypes because this is a pheno hunt so working with the different Phenos was definitely a challenge, as well as dialing in the drip system, especially at the different stages of life. Uh, definitely next time I'll probably stick to hand watering for the first few weeks, just so I can get a feel of how the plants are drinking water, because uh, not every plant grows the same, even if they are the same strain. Uh, they just drink differently and grow differently, and that's part of the fun of pheno hunting. I honestly love it. I love seeing the different variations and the unique profiles and searching for those outliers is uh, definitely appealing to me at least. It's like having a rare commodity. But yeah, not too much has changed this week. I'm not gonna lie. I've been really absent from the tent uh, this week. Uh, like I, I opened it maybe once or twice so having that drip system really allowed me to get by with that but as i said i'm still dialing it in like there's i'm having some pressure issues it seems and th this is a prototype this is the first time i've built one so i think i have a better idea of how i'm going to build one next time and i'll definitely document that guys for you yeah automation is definitely the future and i can't believe to express how much time it actually saves in your actual life your plants still look great and you don't have to manage them as much it's awesome but yeah this week not too much has changed we're still feeding actually we went down on our feed like i mentioned we're on the end of week nine so we're at 2.1 ec and we cut back on a lot of our nitrogen-based nutrients. We're using Remo, so I cut back to like 25% of Micro, Velo Kelp, No Cal Mag, and we've just been feeding full strength of the Bloom, Astro Flower, and Nature's Candy, that's the one. Um, and a bit of power SI, about four mils per eight gallons, so not a lot at all. I was surprised to notice uh, just how much it would drop the pH of the reservoir, but that's not bad in my case because I do usually need to lower my pH. I should also probably talk about the nutrients monster that I have. I've been uh, blessed from fisherman seeds to run these nutrients and uh, i was supposed to make a video about it but to be honest i'm still trying to learn a bit more about it like there isn't even a feed schedule for it and i'm still just like reading the ingredients and trying to get more information on how to use it at the different stages of growth um, and I figured like this is literally probably the last week that I will be feeding these girls So switching nutrients in the last week is just kind of pointless And like I said, I've been really busy this week, so I just haven't had time to deal with it I'm actually leaving the country for like a day or two, so That's probably gonna affect some of the video content coming out here, but I'm hoping this video is not too long, but just enough and informative. Visually in the tent though, you can tell there's uh, it's been getting a lot more bulky in here. And honestly, I'm still seeing a lot of white pistols, which is a little concerning. 
I have a feeling that even on 60%, my FCE 3000s from Mars Hydro are still light bleaching some of the tops that are four inches away. So, I mean, I guess it's understandable, right? Uh, yeah, you ideally don't want to grow them that close, but uh, this is a pheno hunt, so I've never grown these plants, and I did not expect them to stretch over three times their original height, at least on some phenos. Some didn't stretch too much, but most of them did. I should probably talk a bit more about the different phenos now that we can really see what they're gonna look like at the end of their growth. And honestly, there's probably only three phenos that uh, I'm really keeping my eye on. I'm also really picky, but uh, the other phenos, I'm sure they will be nice, but they just kind of don't have that look and the terpenes are more on the the lime side i know that most of the seeds that you pop will have that lime kind of terpene but the other ones are more like a gassy funk that i just i really like and it still has that sweetness from the lime but it's more on like the undertone if you know what i mean i still haven't smoked it but just from touching the sugar leaves and getting my uh, test that way uh, it's it's worked well for me in the past but yeah guys that's pretty much it this week uh, feeding 2.1 EC our pH is at 6 yeah so we've just been increasing all our phosphorus and potassium and just really cutting back on all the nitrates because they don't really need them at this stage. They're just focusing on flowers and not so much leaves. And um, I mean, honestly, I probably went a little too hard on the nitrogen this round anyways. Uh, some of them look a little leafy, but they also kind of have that like light stress kind of look to them as well. So it could be genetic, it could be excess nitrogen, but they didn't seem too dark. They definitely didn't claw downwards like a typical nitrogen toxicity really excited uh it's definitely gonna be a little longer before harvest though like the way some of these are looking it's it's gonna look like another two weeks before we can even start chopping these girls down so yeah definitely the longest flowering i've done but i'm curious to see if it was worth the extra few weeks right anyways guys that's pretty much it i feel like this video is already getting kind of long so don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to say I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and weekend. Peace.